So Survive the Sound, we focus on steelhead, which is a salmonid. And today we're going to learn a little bit more about the steelhead as well as the other species of salmonids. A little trick you can use to remember them is with your hand. So first we'll start with our pinky, the pink salmon, also nicknamed the humpy because when the fish, the adults, return to spawn in the rivers, the males develop a great big hump on their back. Next we have the ring finger and we can remember because of the ring the coho salmon or the silver salmon and when these fish are in the salt water they are beautiful bright silver like you might wear on your finger and when they get into the rivers to spawn the males turn a brilliant red almost like a deep garnet color. Next for our middle finger, our biggest finger, this represents the king salmon or the chinook salmon. And these are the biggest salmonids around our area and the tastiest some might say. And for our pointer, we think of the sockeye. You can sock them in the eye. And these fish swim up rivers and spawn on the fringes of lakes. Next we have our thumb, the chum thumb. And the chum, also known as the dogfish, are probably the least tasty. They actually use them to make treats for dogs. And then for me, in my heart, as a steelhead biologist, the steelhead. And unlike the other salmonids, the steelhead can actually spawn multiple times. All of the other salmonids, after they spawn, they die and their bodies feed the next generation. Well, the steelhead will actually spawn and then swim back out to the ocean and can spawn multiple times, up to almost 10 different times. Very cool.